I think there's a variety of probably experiences many people are going through right now. Uh, we have checked in with quite a few. We actually have a phoning tree going on in our parish. And obviously no one likes going through this situation of isolation and social distancing. But all things considered, uh, many people are still trying to remain very positive. And more than that, I would use the word hopeful. Uh, simply because I think faith brings about a dimension that doesn't look for us to simply be positive, but to rather look to Jesus to help us uh, through this, as uh, this is a, the most important week, Holy Week, of the whole year for Christians. It's a very difficult uh, challenge to be able to look at suffering, and it's, a, it's the age-old problem that uh, many people ask. You know, if God loves us, uh, how could he allow this to happen? And I think that precisely we have to know that every kind of suffering, any form of disease, violence, war, famine, and the like, are all a result of evil. So none of this is caused by God. But God, in his permissive will, could permit this insofar as he desires us to come closer to him, to trust in his strength. And so it's very important that we not lose hope and if anything, the message of Good Friday into Easter Sunday for Christians has not changed. Uh, Jesus is one who went through suffering, and he made it redemptive. So that way we can, in fact, uh, rely upon his strength. And one day when we leave this world, whatever moment we all suffer death, will be an opportunity of the bright promise of future glory in heaven. And so that's the message that is not exclusive to Christians, but it is a message that we send out to all the world. And hopefully people could respond in their own way to kind of discover what this time of suffering really means. So right now we're in the process of going through what we call drive-through confessions. So like all our sacraments, you actually have to be present uh, in that moment. Uh, you cannot uh, receive the sacrament of confession over the phone, through social media, or any other telecommunication platform. So by this, we don't want, we want to respect the provincial health authority regulations. And so we've creatively uh, have this opportunity where we don't have to go through sanitizing, uh, kneelers or chairs, but people simply drive through and can remain at a two meter distance and have their confession privately uh, heard and absolution by the priest given and therefore drive away. So, um, you know, it's a, a unique opportunity. We're not the only ones that have been doing this. Uh, many parishes throughout the United States have also done this. Today is our last day, so unfortunately uh, this is the only time now before Easter. Uh, whether we do this in the Easter season uh, the next uh, two months will, will remain to be seen. There will probably be other opportunities, no doubt. Right now, we're in the process of being able to go through the liturgical celebrations, the worship services uh, this weekend, particularly through live streaming. And we're fortunate to have a, a bit of a community of priests here. So there will actually be four of us involved, uh, properly and socially distanced, mind you. But uh, in the celebration, uh, we will work through Zoom, uh, meeting with a virtual parish of a number of young adults, particularly millennials, along with my own parishioners who will be live streamed through Facebook to be able to connect to our services.